sometimes the weather give us a goodness and happiness, but sometimes it give us a disaster. Aviation as a big as you think an aircraft is actually incredibly small compared to a sky. It's like a small fish in a very big ocean. Therefore, the planning and the progress of the flight is highly dependent on the weather. With today increasingly improving technology modern, aircraft are getting better and better at negotiating nature weather. But there are still limits before safety of a flight could be compromised. That is why it's extremely important for pilots to understand and tackle the weather it is possible to avoid. If not, it is too risky to take it on. So today, we will discuss about the economic impact of weather information on airline operation. So what type of weather did you guys experience? This is a cloudy weather, raining, sunny, snowy, foggy, or thunderstorm and lightning or windy. So there are the three basic weather information for airline, especially for pilot need to know. First is the wind. Wind is one of a more common ones. It's essential to know where the wind is coming from at the very stage of the flight. For example, during takeoff or landing, Pilot usually choose to go against the wind. That way is to reduce the runway required to take off or landing. And it also to improve the climb and descent performance. So the other benefits in addition to that is also necessary to know the strength of the wind, depending the the, the type of aircraft, the size of aircraft, the design of the aircraft, that is have a different tolerance in handling the wind. The second point is that another crucial information is visibility. The visibility needs pilot to know the range of how far can they see ahead and also to maintain the situational awareness it whether like to like a heavy fog or heavy rain this severely impact visibility pilots will have to take and make a very high decision whether to delay delay the flight or cancel the flight or even to continue with the flight so the third information is clouds Clouds are also a factor that are really good source of the information to predict the incoming weather depending on the amount of the clouds. The type of clouds are very good point for help pilots in assessing the potential of the weather. If the clouds are trending towards increasing in size, or the city or having a lot of vertical activity, that's mean then the upcoming weather will will be the thunderstorm. It is eventable to knowing the height of the clouds are also vital to know whether are there are any risk of icy. So why the airlines need to know, especially for pilots, needs to know the weather information. Of course, to ensure all the operation can run smoothly and also for the safety of the passenger. But the other benefits of weather information is first, fuel cost saving for an airline. More than the other mode of transportation, aviation is greatly affected by the weather. From the thunderstorm and snowstorm to wind and the fog, as well as temper temperature and pressure extreme, every stage of air transport is susceptible 
to being affected by the weather condition being experienced. Benefit from the improved the weather information could be as the high as 30%. Saving of the total fuel burn for the sun flight, especially those involving relatively, relatively short traveling distance. And this also can identify several benefits of long-range weather forecast for the aviation industry. The second benefit, of course, this is very important, is, is airline safety for the airline safety. Airline exists to provide the flight and the passenger services with the flight plane and they are undertaken on timely basis according to the schedule of airport. So the safety of an aircraft during the flight is affected by the weather related to hazards such as fog, poor visibility, clear air turbulence, mountain wave turbulence, thunderstorm, micro burst from the thunderstorm, and the wind shear. These hazards are the causes of many incidents reported by the airline accidents around the world. Weather is also known to be most important cause, cause of flight delay and the diversion. This issue of airline safety has been pre-eminent policy concern with the acquisition of forecasts and information legally required for the major CV flight in many countries. Aviation is sensitive to the weather, so no decision is taken without first putting the weather into consideration. Safety has come under some threat as demand for the air transport increases, but with an unbalanced increase in airport capacities and facilities coupled with the frequent extreme where the condition being experienced across the world. So what happened if the flight delay or cancel? Of course, for the passenger, passenger will feel angry and dissatisfied because the delay or cancellation will mess up of their schedule. So they need to reschedule their words. And the passenger will think if this still happen again and again, passenger will notify that the airline have a bad services. So for the, of course, for the airline, this will be the, the this will give their a negative uh, economic impact. So what to do? Weather control is not in our power, but we can predict to ensure all operation run smoothly so that all the parties, especially for the airlines and passenger, are happy.